Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all with KitKat enabled devices how you can enable a nice little feature that hasn't been advertised too big right now just because it hasn't been pushed out all the way, but I'm going to be showing you all how to enable art on your device. Now you all might be asking yourselves, Mario, what is art? Well, it is standing for Android Runtime, and essentially it is supposed to be the next thing that is supposed to take over Dalvik. The way Android devices work right now is you have your Dalvik cache and your cache and this is supposed to sub in for that. It does take up a bit more room on your device and such, but it is supposed to in short change the way that your Android device handles applications and backgrounds them and how it runs as well. It's supposed to make everything run faster, smoother, save your battery life, and make your phone or tablet run cooler. So there's a lot of benefits to it. However, it is still in beta right now, so to speak, and it is actually hidden away. It is available on KitKat, but I'm going to be showing you how to enable it. Now the first thing I would recommend doing first is completely restore your ROM. By that I mean if you have a custom ROM and then you put on custom kernels and all that, go ahead and reflash the kernels and such that came with that ROM originally, the custom ROM that you had. If you're on stock and you've changed anything like your kernel and such, go ahead and just download your stock image and reflash that back over. If you flash it over in parts, you will not have to reformat your phone or anything, but I recommend backing up everything. I have a Nexus device, so it was simple enough on there, but just go ahead and fast boot everything if needed. There are other tutorials on this available, I will not be covering it in here, but if you don't have your device completely stock or completely set up right, then it might not go into art mode for this. Also before enabling this, be sure to remember that this is reversible, yet this is still in beta and there is a reason why it is hidden away in developer settings. So most applications now work on it, however the best version out right now at the time of recording this is the one on 4.4.2. If you have an earlier version, I'd recommend updating or just wait for a ROM update to come out. And there is a complete list available of applications that do work with art however they might not work perfectly or you might run into some occasions where they're just not working at all just keep in mind that it is still a beta it is not 100 complete so we do have to keep that in mind anyways let's go ahead hop into this now what you want to do when you have your tablet or phone in front of you is you want to go over to your settings go all the way to the bottom for about phone or about tablet and then you want to go to the bottom where it says build number and tap it until it allows you to become a developer once you are a developer, go ahead, go to the back, then go to developer settings, go ahead, enable that, and then go to select runtime and use art, and then hit OK to that message. Your tablet or phone will now reset, and I would recommend plugging it into a charger now if you haven't already. Now, once it ends up resetting and you see everything right here, it's going to go ahead and rebuild your application library, which it does in a few moments after it shows myself right here looking like I just woke up. But once it does that, it's going to say that it's optimizing all your applications. This is going to be the longest process and can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Go ahead and let it sit there. And your phone or tablet might get warm at some point, but just let it sit there and do its thing. Now once you're done, you can go ahead and access your ROM again and go over to your settings and then from here go over to the about tablet or about phone section and as you can see we're verifying here that we are on the latest version of Android with the latest build number. You can go back to your developer options, select your runtime, sorry about the unfocus here, and as you can see we are on art. If you ever want to switch back, just go ahead do the exact same process but with Dalvik instead. Anyways, thank you for watching everyone, I hope this really helped you all out and start enjoying your Android device at hopefully lightning fast speeds. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off, thank you for watching.